Hello my siblings in Christ, I'm Boyan and today we will talk about saints. That is, to be more specific, different ranks and titles of saints. There are many, many of them. Very often a saint will fall in a couple of different categories. For example, all the apostles suffered martyrs' death. Of course, there are many ranks and titles and some of them will be omitted. These are just some of the most important ones. Theotokos, the mother of God. The literal translation of the Theotokos is she who gave birth to God, generally translated as the mother of God in English. The honorary bearer of this most esteemed title belongs to Mary, and sorry ladies, there will only ever be one mother of God. Archangels and bodiless powers. Angels are bodiless spirits that are in service to God. There are a lot of them. And when they are commemorated in Orthodox services, they are usually listed as Archangels Michael and Gabriel and other bodiless powers. Holy Forefathers are holy ancestors of Christ in the flesh. Christ had many ancestors, some of whom weren't saints and thus aren't counted among the Holy Forefathers. Abraham and Isaac are forefathers of Christ. Apostles are the followers of Christ that were handpicked by him to spread the gospel across the world. All of them save John suffered martyrdom. When Judas killed himself, Matthias took his role, but in the Orthodox Church, the list of the twelve apostles contains Paul, who was likewise elected by Christ during Paul's trip to Damascus. Disciples are followers of Christ that spread the gospel across the world, but weren't in the inner circle like the apostles were. Traditionally, there were seventy of them, and Saint Stephen, the one who was the first to be killed for the sake of Christ, was a disciple. Prophets are people of the Old Testament who were to convey the pronouncements of God to others. Saint Habakkuk is one such prophet. Martyrs are saints who died for Christ. There are many subtypes of martyrs. Great martyrs are martyrs who were horrifically tortured before their death, such as Saint George, who was put on a wheel with jagged spikes underneath, buried alive in a lime pit and had his head cut off by a sword. Hieromartyrs are priests and bishops who died for Christ, such as Saint Plato of Banja Luka. Venerable martyrs are monks and nuns who suffered for the faith, such as Saint Theodosia of Constantinople. Virgin martyrs are young women who preserved their purity until their brutal end, usually evading marriage proposals or direct threats from non-Christians, such as Saint Anastasia, the deliverer from potions. New Martyr is an inconsistent title that is applied to martyrs who have suffered from the time of the Ottomans or later, such as Saint Ephraim the Neomartyr. Ethnomartyrs are people who have suffered not because of Christ specifically, but because of their ethnicity, like Saint Gregory the Bishop of Methony. And finally, Passion Bearers are people who are killed for reasons other than their faith, but who accept their death in non-violent and Christ-like manner, such as the Romanov Passion Bearers. Confessors are people who were tortured for their faith but weren't killed. Saint Maximus the Confessor, for example, had his tongue and right hand cut off. Venerables are monastic saints who preserved unto the end, such as Saint Joseph the Hesychast. Unmercenary healers are saints who offered their mundane skill at healing free of charge, and for that they were granted miraculous power to heal people. This is an unfortunate rank of saints that have a high chance of ending up martyred as well. Saints Cosmos and Damien are typical representatives of this group. Fools for Christ are people who conceal their spiritual gifts by pretending to be mentally ill. Saint Xenia of Petersburg, for example, would claim she is her departed husband and wear his clothes. The right believing is a title that is given to rulers who are good to the church and the people, such as Saint Dimitri Donskoy. The righteous is a title that is applied to lay people who lived out their life in a Christ without suffering a martyr's death but also it applies to the Old Testament saints who weren't prophets, such as Job. Subscribers aren't saints, but who knows, some of you may be or will be. Remember to subscribe, it helps out this channel immensely. Also check out the shop, the link is in the description. We have the Little Monk edition with mugs, shirts and bags, as well as the Nika o Lantern for that uncontroversial festivity that's coming up. Now, up to this point we have discussed the ranks of saints. What follows are titles that describe in more detail what these great saints did. The equals to the apostles are saints who converted entire lands to Christianity, such as Saint Photini, who converted many people to faith and whom even you non-Orthodox know as the Samaritan woman at the Jacob's Well. Enlighteners or Illuminators are saints who helped establish further the religion in regions where it was already present, such as Saint Sabas of Serbia. 
Wonderworkers or Thaumaturges are saints who are especially known for their gift of wonderworking, such as St. Spiridon. The theologian is the title given to people who were especially intimate with the Lord and who were let in on the greater mysteries of faith. So far, only three saints bear this title, St. John the Apostle or St. John the Theologian, St. Gregory the Theologian and St. Simeon the New Theologian. Myrrh Streaming or Myrrh Gusher is a saint whose relics flow with the holy myrrh that has healing properties, such as St. Simeon the Myrrh Gusher. The New or the Younger is a title that is applied to a saint to distinguish them from an earlier saint. For example, St. Stephen the New suffered for his defense of the holy icons and should not be confused with St. Stephen the Protomartyr. The Merciful is a title applied to saints who are especially known for their alms, to much horror of their near and dear, such as St. John the Merciful. The Newly Revealed is a saint whose memory faded from the Church, or whose life was completely unknown, but whose veneration is re-established or completely established by some miraculous means, such as the Martyrs of Medna, whose relics were revealed after a series of a vision to a local woman. So yeah, those are our wonderful saints. Of course, there are many unique and individual titles, but this covered the majority of them. If you want to support this little ministry in Christ, you can support us on Patreon, Subscribestar, Ko-fi or become a channel member. There's a list of our wonderful, wonderful donors. And if you want to know more about the saints, why not read their lives or watch a video about them? Here's our reliquary series, where we try to draw and narrate different saints for your edification. By their prayers, Christ our God, save us and have mercy on us. Amen.